Hey there, welcome back to another episode of Backseat Drawing Workshops. I'm Eric. And I'm Josh. And I have a question from our audience. Uh, oh, yeah. Anamtopia asks, how do you draw fur? How do I draw fur? Uh, so you want to download my brushes, which are available on DeviantArt. And the way I draw fur is to think about, well, first of all, let's, let's talk about the shape of fur. If I have an object and it's furry, I try to think of that object having sections of fur, especially if the fur is a little longer. And try to think of it like sections of uh, scales, but a little more organic. Hmm. Right? So you can have that fur basically come out in lumps like this. It's the same thing with hair. You don't want to draw every strand of hair like this. What you want to be thinking about is that is uh, hair basically being shapes on a head or wherever its uh, origin point oh, is. Oh, that's why I've never done hair right. <laughs> And every one of these lumps has its own volume. So you want to think about the volume inside of that. So you can think about these these uh, shapes as being three-dimensional. So you would basically shade them appropriately too. But let's talk about actually how to do the fur. So the fur is made by a brush that I have in my... It's the second brush in my set. And you'll see me using this brush a lot in my videos. Uh, because what it does is it's a scratch brush. It's really no different than an oil painting brush that has really wide bristles on it. So as you can see, with a light touch, if I overlapped the uh, fur I've already done, it gets darker. So what I'm going to be doing here is basically creating layers of uh, that fur. So if I wanted to fade it out, I can come back and hit it. And it's all about... You're hitting it with a lighter color? or Yeah, hitting it again? actually with the white in the background. So you're grabbing the white from the background and mm -hmm. lightening it? Yeah. Let's say it had a layer of white in there too, and then it goes back to purple as a stripe. Like you got highlights. Mm -hmm. you gave your dog highlights. Yeah, so this is basically how I do fur. And I always remember, think about the shapes that the fur is going in, or else it's going to become disorganized pretty quickly. Then from here, I'm going to use another brush, which is, this is where the fur brushes are in my palette. I have a brush here that basically creates tighter strands. Uh, and you can see here, like, if I zoom way, way in, it's creating these tight, tight strands, like clumps of, like, three or five hairs together. And this can help you add like uh, focal points, like here. Oh, it's yeah, like so, a shape. So yeah, so it's not as, um, I guess, I guess Soft. pattern. Yeah, so it looks like the pattern's broken up quite a bit more. All righty. Yeah, but that's basically it. Of course, you can well, always go into more detail and add like you know, strands outside of it. But the level of detail you put in for is, is pretty much up to you. Well, that's very interesting. Thank you for checking that. Yeah, no problem. Hope this helps you. So, yeah, thanks for watching. Yeah, and we'll see you on the next episode of Backseat Drawing Workshops. Smell you later.